Uh, Eric the Actor, wow, mm -hmm. how you doing? You must be calling yeah. in because your fellow thespian. Yeah. Well, yes, so, you know, not many people have the name The Actor. <laughs> and, uh... I, um, not a black actor, but I would take nuts in my act after I give him to, uh... All right, enough of that. We heard yeah. that one already. Yes, go ahead, Eric. Well, I was calling because of the fact that last week I did another acting gig. I recorded for Brickleberry. Uh huh. Hey Eric, did it bother you that um, I saw a lot of people on the internet writing about uh, the wrestling franchise TNA? You were a part of it, and they were canceled. And yet, it's another thing you were a part of that got canceled. <laughs> and I know the rap with you is everything Eric does gets canceled. The kiss of death, yes. Yeah, like you're kind of the kiss of death. And uh, now T TNA wrestling was canceled. Did that bother you? How many times do I have to repeat? myself go ahead i don't have one fucking thing to do with any of those shows being canceled <laughs> no no but you were on tna you hey, 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 hey. shows get canceled because lack of good writing lack of good acting lack of viewership that's why she yeah, but you got to admit, in a way, it's yeah. sort of unlucky when they have you on because they all get canceled. I don't think there's one show that you were on that ever survived. Survived <laughs> having <laughs> you on. <laughs> okay, so then it is kind of a coincidence. The show, the show was Robin Williams that you just mentioned. Yeah, I wasn't on that. Well, yeah, of course. Well, of course, other shows get canceled, but all of yours get canceled. Right. I have nothing to fuck. To do with well, that. we know, but it I'm saying that you, we know you had nothing to do with it, but we're, I'm just saying, does it bother you that people say that about you? Fuck yes. <laughs> because I, I know even some of the songs right. I get are like Eric the Show Killer, or, uh, you know, like, like this but, song. Eric the TV Show Killer, he's got carrot colored hair. Every TV show he goes on Ends up going off the air In plain sight got cancelled Fringe and American Dreams Now FX has killed off legit And he was only in one scene <laughs> If you want that tiny man To be on your TV show you're playing with dynamite. With Eric, your show might be gone by tonight. Listen up, all you producers. We know you have some empathy. But if you cast Eric the actor, your TV show will be his story. Which is kind of a funny song. I mean, all the coincidences. And then now TNA got canceled. Yeah. All I have to say is, shall grow up. <laughs> <Bro>. um, <laughs> grow up it is, oh man it's this simple hey what's going on with you and gonzo i see he's on the line too let me let me see what he has to say real quick what is it gonzo oh, yes hey what's up hey what's up, what's up Howard? what are you, how are you and eric getting along uh not very well I hate not him. very well though yeah, it's been, it, he's been a real dick. Cause he's been a real asshole lately. I've been, you know, I've, I've been avoiding him. Though. I, I, I haven't. I've, I've been trying to avoid the abuse, so I haven't really been talking to him much. But um, I did find it interesting that yeah, TNA got canceled. I see. I see by looking at your profile, you're still making up bullshit about me. What did he say? Well, like I, like I caused a boy. Right. A what? <laughs> he caused what? Happened. I don't no, know. Was it boli? <laughs> Eric, <laughs> Eric, did you cause a boli? <laughs> yeah, I've never even been to Africa once. No, I think it was from when I when Eric took his when Eric took his trip to the Congo. He got a bola, <laughs> and then he brought it back to the states. Is that, that, that was just a rumor. That's a rumor that I heard. Yeah. So, what else did he write about you, Eric? Dumbass. The only foreign country that I've ever been to in my life is Canada. 
Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 Gonzo. Here's another also, song about Erica killing off TV shows. In case you want to hear it, every show he's oh, been on—it's not a song—has been canceled. He's one. Every show he's. Been I thought it was a song. Sorry. Uh, yeah, who was? Yeah, I also heard Eric was starting the ball. I thought Eric was in jail, so I'm surprised that he's actually on the phone. How do you get Ebola in Canada, uh, Eric? <laughs> <laughs> I guess they were starting the wildfires in California. There was like a lot of wildfires, and I thought that you might have been in jail. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy that you you were able to. You call. started. Uh, oh, you started the wild. You said that Eric yeah. started the wildfires. Yeah, like I saw in, uh, the AP tweeted about uh, Eric, or they they said somebody was starting wildfires in California. You're saying intentionally he started them. Yeah, yeah. So I thought I was, I, I was pretty sure it was Eric. Howard, Howard, don't even listen. And that bullshit. How the hell I can't believe. That logistically, something. Why would it, why, why would the AP tweet and report that though? But you live in California, right? Yeah, Eric and I both live in the same city. We both live in Sacramento. Hello. So. Hello. Yes. You and I aren't the only two males in this state. Well, was it reported that Eric was seen in the woods? I think that's what I read. Yeah, I was going through my tweets, um, my mentions, and I, I, I thought I saw that. Like a lot of people were, were tweeting about it. So, Eric, do you hate Eric? Do you hate trees because they're tall and you're not? <laughs> <laughs> you are the biggest dumb fuck walk. The planet goes up. Eric, Eric, so, Eric, so what happened with TNA? I thought it was me. I, I really did, too. I thought, uh-oh. Eric, what happened with, happened with uh, TNA? Or what, how, how did you manage to kill off that franchise? Because I was kind of upset because I know, like, the wrestlers, they have families and stuff. And I know people like Hansi are big. Well, Eric didn't, and... uh, Eric didn't cancel TNA, but it is a coincidence, I guess, that every show he's been on has, has run into trouble. Yeah, I don't want him to be on Walking Dead because I really enjoy Walking Dead. So if uh, we can just make sure Eric doesn't go on that show. I love Walking good. Dead. Yeah, please, Eric, don't do Walking Eric, Dead. Eric, are you up for a part in Walking Dead? Please, no, no Eric. No, okay. So far, we're <laughs> safe. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Eric, you wanted to say something. What you said, you just recorded lines for Brickleberry. How's that show doing? Is it? Uh... <laughs> that show will be done in a month. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't start airing episodes till September. Oh, they may never air. I hope that 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 show stays on the air because that's Yucko's show, and I hope it stays oh, on if the he air. Kills Yucko's show. That then that's a double tragedy. Right. Yeah. We're all going to be watching it to make sure that uh, we, we want to see if it goes down or not. What is it, Gary? Uh, Howard, you know who the great director Paul Feig is, the guy yes. Bridesmaids yes. and Heat and all those movies. So we had him on at Comic-Con. Yeah. And he talked about Eric in two ways. He said, first of all, he would never hire Eric because of, you know, he loves the show and he loves Eric and he thinks Eric's interesting. But he hears the difficulties with, that you get, you know, when you get Eric. But he also said that there's a superstitious part of him. Right. That <laughs> if I use Eric, will I be killing my project? Wow. Oh, well, it's ridiculous. I think it's only a coincidence. Eleven times? No. How, how, how many, look how many shows is there. Oh, look how, how they've all died. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They've whoa, all whoa, died. Hey, Gary, who's bad with Matt now? I will have five gigs now. How many I can get 11 shows? Right. <laughs> you, you win. <laughs> well, we're still here. Eric's on our show. Yeah, he hasn't and killed Eric. You're, 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 you're something special. <laughs> we're ground zero, I guess. <laughs> and Eric, Eric never acted on We're the roaches of the... Uh, we, created, we created the evil. Yeah, we're roaches. You can't kill us. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, Eric the show killer. Ah, come on. So, no, Eric... I, I, I wish yeah. Mr. Strauss would call in again. Because when he talked to you, before I was on in plain sight, he said these words: "In plain sight, it's having their final season." Right, right. No matter what, that go. way you couldn't kill it. He probably waited. Right, right. <laughs> All right. So there you go. There's proof, uh, Gonzo. Okay. All right. Well, Yucko, if you're listening, don't uh, be careful, Yucko. I'm sorry for Yucko in advance because uh, it just then, uh, I feel awful for all these shows that have been murdered by the serial killer. Oh. And hey, let's go on to something. Let's go on to something happy. Let's uh, talk about getting Eric the actor laid. I mean, when's the yeah? last time? When's the last time you got any, Eric? 2009. What? 
2009. Oh, two th- I think you said just the other night. I was like, what the? <laughs> What's happening? The world just Man. shifted on its axis. 2009. You know, when you ask a guy when he was last got laid and he goes back years, it's depressing. Let's see. What year is this? 2014. 14. Let me do some quick math. Right. Uh, 2009. Then you, let's round that off to 10. Five, That's one five year. Five years. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you. You want me to check that math or uh, you got that right? I think a man who hasn't had it in that long knows. You know. how Don't you picture like Eric's bed and next to the bed on the wall is like those chalk marks like prisoners put right, on the wall. Right, scratching. <laughs> and there's five years worth of marks. Mathematics just died. Yeah. Because Eric just did math. Eric, five years. That's a long time. And he loved sex. He did. He is, loved is it. Is it time to break? Bunny Ranch style? Yeah. He loves that Bunny Ranch. You loved it, right? Yes, one problem, though. What? With with my condition right now, I can't go to high elevation. Oh, dear. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, Bunny dear. Ranch is in high elevation. I would say fuck that. You know, the only pussy Harry can get, <laughs> get is in high elevation. It's oh. where he can't go. Is there some pussy palace <laughs> that's on low elevation? <laughs> Do they have an underground location for the Bunny Ranch? <laughs> Something at sea level, please. Yeah, anything at sea level. <laughs> Do they have a Bunny Ranch in Death Valley? <laughs> oh, my I actually, actually, One actually. problem, though. <laughs> What's that? I can't go to high elevation. Oh, oh my I- God. I actually think I know some girls that would, that would actually fuck her. So we live in the same town. If oh yeah, wasn't such an unruly asshole. I, I could probably hook him up, but you think you can get really... Eric laid? Oh, I, I know I could. He's like a celebrity. Like I, I know some girls that are pretty hot that would that would be down to fuck him. But Eric's kind of a dick, so are I you just really saying that to screw with his head? Right? Or... Yeah. No, no. Actually, no. I, I'm I'm pretty sure I know at least you know two girls that would that would be that would be willing to uh, at least like give him like a hand job and like you know. So can you hook him up? Yeah, I'd be happy to, but, Eric, but Eric's been kind of, he's, he's been kind of a dick to me lately, so I'm not really... What if he apologized? If he apologized, yeah, and he unblocked me, I would be down for that. And you think you'd get him a hand job? Yeah, I could I could send him some pictures tonight of uh, these girls. In my, in my, like, you know, I have, I have some pretty cute friends that would be, you know, they're, you know, Stern Show fans that would be willing to... Do they, to, do they live in high elevation? <laughs> no, no, no. Are they willing to come down? Are they willing to come down to Eric's elevation? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're, they actually they live in this elevation, so it'd be perfect for Eric. Would they be willing to give Eric a, a, a hand job in a submarine if we had to submerge him? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm sure they would. If Eric was willing to do it, I'd like to interview a girl willing to have sex with Eric for free. <laughs> you want, we can, yeah, I, I can, I can, I can arrange that. And you say these girls are hot, huh? Yeah, I mean, well, for Eric, it's not. I mean, <laughs> the Eric, they're, they're, they're are they hot. fat? No, 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 no. Actually, I know one of them. She's, uh, she, yeah, she's pretty hot. I, I actually used to bang her myself. But um, do you know any girls? Eric. Like, would any of these girls take their boobs and jerk uh, Eric off with their boobs? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I, I don't think they would be down to like make out with him and shit because that might be a little weird. But um, right. I'm sure they would be down to like you know like, like jerk him off or like give him like titty fuck him if Eric would be down for that. You think they'd put lotion on their hands when they jerk him off? Yeah, mm-hmm. they would, yeah. <laughs> they wouldn't do anything lame like wear a glove or something, would they? <laughs> I, uh, maybe. Yeah, who cares? But no, no, no. They wouldn't, they wouldn't, they wouldn't care. They wouldn't, uh, you know, as long as Eric was a gentleman. But Eric, Eric's kind of like, uh, he has a really bad reputation of being an asshole. So if he could kind of switch his reputation and be a little mm-hmm. bit more friendly. Eric, think, what do you uh, say? I do not know if I want to do this or not because I don't want to have anything to do with him. Uh, with Gonzo. Well, Eric, they're, but Eric, they're, they're Eric the Actor fans. They're actually, they're, they're just like friends of mine in real life. But they're actually like you know they're big Eric the Actor fans. Hmm. But they, you just you kind of have a reputation of being a dick. So All right, you guys work this Eric out. I got a shit to do anyway. I mean, <laughs> I mean it's fascinating, but. If it does go down, let me know, all right, if you guys work things out. Okay, yeah, Eric, Eric, email me, and we'll uh, we'll work something out. Yeah, that's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> You'd rather not get jerked off. <laughs> Guys, Eric... you just jerk him off. <laughs> oh. Put on a wig. <laughs> Would you like that, Eric? Should I just put a wig on and jerk you off? Nope. Not interested. <laughs> no, he's homophobe. All right, guys, I got to go. Eric, anything you want to say about Brickleberry before we go? Just that 
it should be on like Yucko's said January. Oh, this and is early promotion. Early pre promotion, <laughs> uh, Gary would call it. Right. And then it was the quickest gig I had. I was only in the recording studio maybe an hour. Hmm. Boy, I can't imagine. What how, what was your line? I had about 10 to 12 lines. Wow. Can you give us one? <clears throat> Not really. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, as a fellow actor, any statement about Robin Williams? Well, I enjoyed his movies. Probably one of my favorites was Patch Adams. Uh huh. Not uh, critically acclaimed, Patch Adams, and yet the uh, audiences loved it. Uh, Robin Williams actually said that uh, he makes no apologies for that movie because uh, the people liked it. I got a feeling Brickleberry is going to be joining uh, Robin Williams pretty soon mm. after. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's hope not. I mean, poor, uh, poor uh, Yucca. Yeah, Yucca will be following. I mean, Yucca's finally having a life. <laughs> We can't oh, yeah. get that to Yucko. Yeah, break the jinx, Eric, and, and let's make sure that uh, Brickleberry stays on the air. The night at the museum, Louise, were also good. Mm. Eric, you have very... Um, Interesting. You like, you like the most childish rub movie. Yeah, childish <laughs> taste. A lot of people enjoy the uh, museum uh, franchise. <laughs> yeah, they were all Better. five. Yeah, they were all five. <laughs> <laughs> they're in elementary school. <laughs> the third one's coming out later this year. With Robin Williams? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. I think we had enough fun here. All right. Did, is there All anyone right. on Earth, by the way, who thought Eric would live longer than Robin Williams? Uh, no. No. Well, technically I haven't. I'm not 63. No, but you've, you know, you're on the planet and he's not. Yeah, if you do the mathematics, it's kind of... Right. You know. Like Ari, you always say, you're playing with the house's money. But, yeah, I'm glad. I hope Eric loves to be 100, because I, I love Because he's your whole life. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, but I do want to get Eric... Like, you know who Eric sounds like a little bit? Robin Williams in Popeye. Do you ever think of that, there Robin? There you go. Yeah. Yes, because Eric, 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 even though Eric's an asshole, like, I, I really do have Eric's best interest at heart. And, All right, so, good. I, All I, right, Conzo. Thank you. And Eric, thank you. By the way, that was Thank one you. of the movies that was left off almost every list. Yeah, Popeye didn't do well. Yeah. No, they all can't be uh, a home run. <laughs> Eric, you want to give one final Nanu Nanu for the uh, day? I uh, guess so. Go ahead. Nanu Nanu is Johnny's birthday. What? It's Johnny's birthday today. Nanu Nanu? Did you hear? Can you say I, that again? I said that. I didn't hear it. Nanu, nanu. <laughs> <laughs> and, and by the way, Friends <laughs> lasted two seasons after I was on it. Right. What show is that? Fringe. Fringe. Yeah. Fringe. Oh, okay. Fringe. You still killed it, though. You just killed it a slow death. <laughs> All right, guys. I got to go. Later. It's like, it's like cancer. It's gone, though. <laughs> All right, yeah, go fuck yourself. <laughs> Bye, idiot. Ack, ack. Show killer. Hmm. Shut up, dipshit. <laughs> that took you a while. Not very quick today, are you? I was trying to think of what word I wanted to call you. <laughs> and you have a and you have a very and you have a very low IQ, so it takes a long time. No, I'm getting tired of that bullshit. That test was not accurate. I'm above ninety. I know I am. <laughs> <laughs> you, you were Eric. You were tested by a you were tested by a a, a, a real facility. How, how how are you above ninety? They. They determined that you're 90. The woman said his handicaps could affect his testing. That's right. Yeah, the handicaps in his head. There's no, I mean, other than that, mm -hmm. I don't. All right, guys. I got to go. Oh, bye. bye, Gonzo. Bye, Eric. Eric bye, Eric. is a nemesis, and Gonzo is his name. Yeah, Gonzo, Shitcock, and Eric always go at it on Twitter.
Amazing. Yeah. Do you believe he can't get laid because he's got to go above? Uh, he's got to go into high altitude. Right. I that was a shocker. I didn't know that altitude was holding him back. Yeah. By the way, when I had uh, Eric on the phone, I meant to uh, mention that there's a guy on Twitter who has a feed called Eric the Midget Facts, and every day he posts a different Eric the... the oh, yeah? He calls him Eric the Midget. We call him Eric the Actor. Actor. Nanu, nanu. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was going to be isolated. Yes, of course. <laughs> uh, here, I'll give you some facts, all right? On July 8th, 2005, Eric said he wouldn't ask Jessica Simpson why the Jews ran Hollywood because he didn't think she knew. <laughs> 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 Nanu, nanu. On September 12, 2007, Eric said he isn't an anti-Semite because he only called Shuley a balding Jew out of anger. Oh. See? You're only anti-Semitic if you use those terms when you're not angry. Right. Didn't know that. In February of 2008, Eric insisted on being called Eric the Songwriter. His only song was changing the lyrics to Wild Thing for his girlfriend. That's when he went through his Eric the Songwriter phase. <laughs> Eric the Songwriter. Uh, let's see. I'm just, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm skipping a couple of them. Right. Some facts aren't hmm. that interesting. They're, they're, they're all interesting, but, you know, for sake of the show. Uh, okay. On February 13th, 2006, Eric admitted to voting for Deanna DeGarmo 445 times in the American Idol finals. <laughs> she lost. <laughs> what if she only got 445 votes? <laughs> on November 27th, 2012, Eric asked Gary Delabate to go on Twitter and tell everyone he didn't have HIV. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Eric's the best. Let's see. Like, there's other little facts. Like, when asked to rate his own physical attractiveness on a scale of 1 to 10, Eric gave himself a 5. On July 29th, 2008, Eric called Shuley four eyes, despite the fact that Eric himself wears glasses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh. On two separate occasions, Howard 100 News reported that Eric was picking his nose and eating it on his oh. JFSC cam show. Oh, dear. Uh, Eric, of course, denied it. Yes. <laughs> Vehemently. On December 10, 2008, Eric revealed he wrote a 38 page script about loving the Bunny Ranch horse called You Hooked My Heart. <laughs> In June of 2006, Eric gave Carrie Underwood a note to give Catherine McPhee saying not to do the Stern Show. So well, these are just little Eric the actor wow. facts. Now, this is history I'm interested in. Right. <laughs> Nano Nano's the best. Uh, 